Hi, this is Dr. David Green with PreferredPainCenter.com, where we bring you anything and everything related to pain management. Today's topic is stem cell injections. There is a new clinical trial going on in the United States, and there is one location in Arizona that has been allowed to participate in this groundbreaking study. The study involves patients who have low back pain, which is a huge problem in the United States. Over 30 million people suffer from low back pain, and when you consider there's about 300 million people that live in the United States, that's 10%. So it's a very big problem. And if you imagine yourself waking up every day in back pain, it's you know annoying. It's like a pebble in your shoe that will not go away, right? So the question is what to do about it. The options that we have to date for low back pain are not bad, but what we really want is a treatment that repairs tissue or that regenerates tissue and doesn't just mask the pain. That's what steroid injections are. Steroid injections and the research for arthritis work really well and they can be repeated every few months, but they don't fix anything. What we need in medicine is things that fix things biologically. Okay? So surgery for low back pain can work well, but it's not always indicated. And for a lot of low back pain, you end up needing further surgeries down the road, or the first one has a large percentage of failure, you know, maybe 40%. Okay? So let me talk about the study some more. A stem cell, uh, if you don't know, is produced by the bone marrow, and it's produced, they're produced throughout life, not just when you're a baby. Okay? And the stem cells used in this clinical trial are not embryonic. So don't worry about any ethical issues. Here's a couple diagrams here. The bone marrow in the body, um, and you have a lot of it, you know, it, there's bone marrow everywhere, it produces stem cells, and I've drawn one here. A stem cell is basically a blank slate. It hasn't turned into anything yet, and it waits for a signal to know what to turn into. So eventually it's going to turn either into a cartilage cell, or a muscle cell, a bone, or a skin cell. And there may be some others too. But those are the main ones. All right. So it waits for the signals from the tissue around it to tell it, okay, this is what you need to turn into. All right. So the study involves back pain and injections of stem cells into the disc. So you have your bone here and here, which is the vertebrae. Okay. And between them, at every level, you have uh, intervertebral discs. And they're squishy and soft. They're made up normally of 80% water. But as we age, we turn into prunes, where the water comes out and unfortunately it doesn't continue to come back. So what you end up with is decrease in height of the disc, and you start to lose some. Let's just say this part went away. Okay? And if you have tears in the disc, that can be painful and cause what's known as degenerative disc disease. So there are two aspects to the study. Um, and there's a rigorous inclusion process. But if the stem cells are injected into the disc, the hope is that the tissues around it will tell it, okay, you need to differentiate into cartilage tissue, or this type of collagen. And it will do that. And they've shown in the initial pilot study that it did work. And the individuals got better. So now it's in clinical trials in multiple sites around the country. There's only one in Arizona. Okay, so the eventual end result of the hope with this is that it will be a great treatment for low back pain and when a patient has surgery such as for a disc herniation and discectomy, this can be ejected as well to help regenerate the part of the disc that um, has been disrupted. Call today to see if you're uh, a patient, uh, potential inclusion at 602 602-507-6550. On my website, there's a lot of information about pain management. There's a whole page on stem cell injections at preferredpaincenter.com. But call today at 602-507-6550. Thank you very much. Have a great evening.